Hi, my name is Sinan Kaduri and I'm part of the RISEC team run by the Burst Collaborative. In this video, I'll be taking you through REDCap, which is the data collection tool for the RISEC study. We will be going through logging in a bit about the interface of REDCap and how to use it, as well as how to register the surgeons in your study. So once you have registered this study, you will receive from REDCap a username and password. And the first time you log in, you'll be asked to create a new password. And once that's done, you can then use these to log in. <clears throat> the first thing you'll see is this home screen. And if you notice in the top left corner, there's a tab called My Projects. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it tells me the numbers, the number of projects and the projects that I am uh, enrolled to. If you have used REDCap before using the same username, then you may have other projects listed here as well. Initially, you'll only have access to this Resect TURBT Surgeon Registration Project and later, as the study rolls out, you will have access to this Resect patient project where new patient data is entered. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and click on Surgeon Registration. And you can see on the left here, there are some functions to help um, create surgeon registrations. So the My Project uh, link here takes you back to uh, the home screen. The project home is the current tab we're on, but this is the real part of interest, the data collection. So if you click on the records status dashboard, you'll see any existing records that currently exist. One record is for one surgeon. So as there are no new records, you can either click here, add new record, or you can click on this tab where you can add or edit records. Again, to add a new record, you can click on this button. To amend existing records, we would click here and there would be a drop down menu where you can select the record to edit. So we're going to add a new record. And as you can see, this takes us to the form. So the first thing to note and the most important thing is that the surgeon I'm about to register has this ID or has been given this ID, 2468-1. So what you ought to do is have a document that you share with your collaborators at your hospital. And this is an example on the right here with an Excel spreadsheet. And in my hospital, for example, I know there are five surgeons that perform TURBTs and I'll be registering each of them. So if I'm registering Dr. Smith on this form, I will need to add that he has been given the uh, surgeon ID 2468-1. Then I'll carry on uh, with the form. This initial part, surgeon initials, is really for you and your collaborators in your hospital uh, to help remember who this record belongs to. This is optional, you do not have to put anything in here. If you have easy access to your shared document, but it can help as an aid memoir. So I'm going to go ahead and put AS, which is the initials for Dr. A. Smith. The surgeon grade, Dr. Smith is a fully qualified urologist, so an attending or a consultant. And in the UK, 
generally there are five years of urology training and Dr. Smith has finished his training and he has been a fully qualified surgeon for seven and a half years and during that time he has also been performing TURBTs at this hospital. Dr. Smith does not consider themselves to have a specialist interest in TURBT surgery and after asking Dr. Smith he told me that he has to date performed around 650 TURBTs. However over the last year he has performed about 20 a month. Once I've finished then I need to change this status from incomplete to complete. If there is a number or a value that I'm not sure of I can always mark it as unverified to alert myself that I need to go back and verify a certain uh, field. But I'm happy with this record and I'll click complete and then save an exit form. The other thing to alert you to is this code book which essentially gives you a printout of the questions that we have just gone through. So if you do not have a computer to hand or if you want to print this out and give it to the surgeon to fill in then they can uh, tick the boxes with a pen and then you can upload them online later and you would print by selecting print page. So now if I click on record status dashboard I can see that my entry has been made here. Please note that this is the record ID that we have given Dr. Smith and it correlates to this code here. REDCap also generates a different number which we would like you to ignore. So if I wanted to edit this record I could simply click on it and edit the records and then save it again or I could go to add or edit records and select this record from the drop down menu and again go into it there. So I'm going to add one more surgeon and this is going to be Dr. B. Dubois who now has the code 2468-2 and his initials will be BD and again Dr. Dubois is a fully qualified urologist with five years of training and they have been uh, they are a new consultant and only just started in the hospital <coughs> and have been performing TRBT for that year. They do consider themselves to have a specialist interest in TRBT and they have performed a thousand TRBTs to date and over the last year approximately 25 TRBTs a month. So I've added this record and if you now go back to the dashboard you can see both surgeons have been added. If we were to add a third record where Dr. Kumar is a trainee, again this would be similar However, we would pick the trainee section here and if Dr. Kumar has just started their training, for example, they've just been a urology trainee for six months, you can put 0 0.5. And again, they have only been performing to RBT for six months. Um, they're not a specialist 
and they've only performed 22 RBTs to date. And again, per month, they're only performing about five. Then we can mark this as complete. So for example, Dr. Guma, I've forgotten to add his record ID on my shared document. I can either view his record here, or I could go back into the record and look up his ID here, and then insert it onto the shared document. So now three surgeons have been added, and you can carry on to add the other two. As mentioned before, at any point you can edit these records. Um, before you add a new surgeon, it would be good to check on the dashboard in case your other colleagues have already added the surgeons there. Another way to download the form to print out, if you want to do it manually, instead of going to the code book, is when you create a new record, you click here, download PDF of instruments, and then click this data entry form, and that will generate a PDF file like so, which is a lot neater to fill in. If you're unsure as to which surgeons have been added, for example, if no one has put the codes on the shared document, but they've only put them here, instead of going through each record one by one, you can click on this link here, which says Data Export, Reports and Stats, and you can click on View Report. And this shows you the overall entries for all the records. So from this, you can see if they've put initials, who the records belong to. Otherwise, you may be able to figure it out from the information given.